what it do everybody I'm back with another one it's meal prep Sunday I'm gonna show you guys how to actually go through a whole meal prep from point A to point Z uh, this is what I've done so far put on my boiling water I didn't even turn this burner on I think I thought the burner was on this whole time turn this burner on you want to boil your water start boiling your water um, for whether you're doing rice pasta or beans you turn on your water you let it get to a small boil once it gets to that boil then what you're going to do is you're going to prepare to uh, let it uh, you're going to prepare to put your ingredients in of course you want to wash them so once it boils you're going to place your ingredients in it's going to look like this these are my black beans so with black beans how, how to cook black beans to have them come out perfect you want to start getting it to a boil then you want to trim it down to medium and you want to put some type of covering over it um, I don't know what my covering is right now, I ain't gonna lie, so I'm gonna do it the ghetto style. You wanna put it on about medium, and you wanna cover it. Let those beans cook, cause beans take a while to get soft. You want them soft, so I put it on about, take it from high all the way to about five, halfway through. I'm about to let the water boil, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this pasta real quick. But I have my salmon, my salmon filet. Go check out my first vlog this week. That vlog showed you guys how uh where i got this from where i get this stuff from ten dollars for five pounds of salmon now here's the thing about it you guys one thing let me go turn off this light got the lights all on one thing that you must understand is you're not going to get big from lifting weights you're not going to get big from uh from uh you know what I'm saying your training you get big from having proper nutrition and also getting a an app uh, a good amount of sleep you want to get anywhere between six and eight hours of rest. I say go over that. Me personally, especially as naturals, you want to be able to rest. So you can go hard in the gym. You got to kill it in the gym. So then when you come, when you come home, I mean when you come and eat, you know you're uh, you're uh, you're feeding you're feeding those uh, those muscles. So I put my oven. I preheated it to about 350. About 350. It's already preheated. My oven indicated it's preheated. Now I'm gonna take it, this is how I seasoned it. I had each one of these on their back to where it was sitting like this so you could see the, the skin part. So I put my Mrs. Dash Spicy Chipotle. I put some Tony Sriracha uh, Salt Free on, on that side. Then I back door, I did all of them. I flipped them to put them on their face. I mean to put them on their backs. And then what I did was put some parsley flakes, garlic powder, and I'm about to put a little pepper. Bam. Hit all of them up. Make sure you, you know, don't be stingy with it. I'm showing you guys this meal prep because a lot of, a lot of uh, guys, uh, high schoolers, hold on, let that focus in. I'm going to put that in. So I won't forget about it. I'm going to go up here and set my timer for 15 minutes. You want to say for 15 minutes. 15 to 20, so I'm going to give it about 17. Now, what I'm going to do next is, see, now I'm doing this because a lot of my, a lot of guys I know watch my videos are younger. Uh, and a lot of guys I know stay with their parents. Now, I don't want that to be an excuse. I don't, I don't like hearing an excuse. Oh, I can't get my meals in because my mom doesn't cook my food. No, you're supposed to be cooking your own food. You have goals to set. When I stayed with my mom before I got married, I didn't, um... Me personally, I did all my cooking. Like when it came to my fish, my mom would cook foods, but I would have make my own food. Same thing with my wife. She cooks her foods. She cooks enough for a household. I make these meals as well. You know what I'm saying? Let me find this. Oh, I'm messing around. Let me find this top for this uh for these beans. Uh, you you'll be surprised to know how many people don't know how to make beans, don't know how to make rice, don't barely know know how to make pasta. So I'm doing it so you guys can know. So you could be without excuse. So you can go out here, set your goals, achieve your goals. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go back to these beans. Found the top. I believe I found the lid. Damn, I'm going to let that sit on medium. It's, it's getting a good temperature. It's going to absorb that water. It's going to make them softer. While this has heated up some, when I go, I got my scale. You guys see I got my scale. What I usually come do is get my pasta. Love this type of pasta. I weigh it out. I weigh out a serving, which is 56 grams. 
what I do, turn on my scale. Put it on 56 grams. I take the pasta out of the box and place it directly on the scale. And I weigh, I weigh out enough for 56. I have about a serving left in here, so I'm just going to use that. A lot of people like to add a little salt to their pasta, so if you want to, when, it's, when your water boils, add a little salt in there. Uh, you want to make sure you clean as you go. You see, I got my sweet potatoes. I'm going to add that a little bit later. So right now, I'm about to pull out my chicken and go ahead and pour that out real quick for you guys. I'm going to pull out my chicken, and I'm going to get ready to season. I'm going to put my chicken, and I'm going to let it sit in here while my salmon is cooking. So once my salmon is finished cooking, I transfer it to a plate and then I take my chicken and I put it, I take my already prepped up chicken and put it in the oven. While I do this, I usually like to clean up, wash whatever dishes are around, uh, do anything I need to do because this stuff, you want to uh, work as hard as you can, you want to put in as much work because, uh, I'm sorry, you want to work as hard as you can, as fast as you can, as efficient as you can because you don't want to just leave a whole counter that needs to be cleaned by the end and by the time you're tired, you want to work as you go. And I also have a, a gym appointment with one of my homeboys. We got chess. So go check out that chess video. The most recent chess video is Strictly Chess. No chess in the bag. Check that out. Let me know what you think. But I'll be right back with you guys once I clean up. And I'll show you guys how I season this chess. All right, guys. So clean up a little bit. I got wifey helping me. I appreciate her because she's supposed to be studying right now. So, baby, I thank you. Let me get a kiss on the cheek. Thank you, baby. I really appreciate you. So got my chicken. My chicken thighs. If you want a cheap alternative to chicken breast, chicken breasts are too expensive for you, chicken thighs. Right here, I have four pounds, and they cost $8. So that's a very uh, a very good difference. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this open. You see I'm using a fork because I'm about to multitask with this fork. I just use a fork to open the, uh, the what you call it, the uh, container. You want to run you some cold water. Don't use hot water. Cold water. Let me move the sponge. Run you some cold water, and you want to kind of run this run it run the water through the meat now if you want to if it's too much fat you could cut off the fat get some uh some some, some meat scissors cut off that fat i'm gonna bam see that right there bam. see that right there so you're gonna do this with all your pieces i'm gonna marinate a few pieces for you and i'm gonna marinate the rest okay now you want to take your seasonings I'm only put a little bit right now because I'm going to throw more in there. I'm just showing you guys an example. A little bit of everything, man. You want it to taste good. You want it to be flavorful. You don't want it to be bland. I like these parsley face. I like how parsley face look, look on cooked meats, man. So I'm at the end of my garlic. I think we got another container in there. Two dollars so good. Damn. Damn. Oh, I had to uh, step away and sneeze. Don't never sneeze on your food, especially when you're prepping. So, when you mix this up, of course you use your hands to mix it up. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do next. Because you got to multitask. You're going to keep that cold water running. I'm going to take one of your sweet potatoes. This fork, I didn't touch the meat with this fork. So, what you're going to do is stab this sweet potato. That's why you need some good carbs in your system. So, if you had an injury, do this. You want to stab the sweet potato with your fork all around. Some chunks might come out, but it's all good. I'm going to show you guys real fast. Stab it all over. You should see little stab marks from your fork. Don't stab it deep. Don't go deep. There's no need to go deep enough. Stab, 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 stab. My water is boiling. The water I showed y'all earlier is boiling. So once I put these in the microwave, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that water. Get some good stabs. You want to be able to go around it. Okay. So next you're going to come in your microwave. Throw, it in, throw your sweet potato in the microwave for 10 minutes. Oops. 10 minutes. You're going to come check on them every, every four minutes. Come check on them. So... When you get six minutes, check on them. When you get to uh, eight minutes, check on them. Whatever. You know, every every four minutes, whatever. <laughs> so, my mind's not, not equipped for math right now. I'm just really... My water's starting to boil a little bit. Just a little bit. It's not even a serious boil. 
It's hot though, you can tell, you can see it boiling a little bit. So you're gonna take all your pieces, you're gonna break them in half over it. Cause usually a small, small portions break off. Bam, bam. We're gonna let that get to a good boil. So occasionally you wanna stir your beans. Make sure it's enough water. If you run out of water, add hot water to it because cold water will cause your beans to split. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to finish prepping up the rest of this chicken. I'm going to cover it up. I don't need to cover it up because we only have seven minutes left on the, on the salmon. So, I'm going to go ahead and prep up the rest of this chicken. Let it sit. When it's, I'll be right back with you when the salmon comes out of the oven. Real quick, guys. I have this chicken left over. I bought some large Ziploc bags a while ago. I still have some left. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Ziploc these up. Let me put these all in the Ziploc real quick. Because uh, with me, I know for instance, my wife, she uh, she's gonna cook something this week. Uh, and you know, I cook my food. So I have my three nutrient, wait, where, yeah, three nutrient, fi nutrient filled foods. I've been saying nutrient dense for a while, but I think, you know, dense is like, to compress so it's not a lot you know what I'm saying that means it's not a lot but I've been saying that wrongly but um, my three nutrient filled foods and she has uh, she'll make another meal too uh, so it's been helping on my book so it help us save money too because I'm able to save them so I could cook these and throw them in the freezer but I'm gonna keep them raw make sure you get all the air out of there make sure it's locked sealed tight and just bam throw it in your freezer somewhere so, be back in about three minutes. Let this stuff finish cooking. So, be on the lookout. Okay, guys, so the alarm is going off. Bam. I just ate some sweet potatoes. They're still cooking. Of course, you want to step back when you open that because that heat is going to hit you. <laughs> I mean, I opened that, uh, that sucker one time I was naked. It was not pretty. My abs took a whole bunch of heat that day. But anyways, bam, take your salmon out. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys real quick to keep the ball rolling. Cause you don't wanna just have your oven on sitting there. Let me find a plate. Do I have a plate down here? No. Okay. Let me go get a fresh one. You don't wanna just have your oven on, wasting electricity. Salmon right here. I'm gonna grab this big plate. Like I call these big plates. Trick. Oh. You're gonna get you your, what's, I don't know what this thing called, a spatula, whatever it's called. But this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take all, see, just an example, make sure it's done, cut it, it's pink, bam. That's one thing I had, I hate about salmon burgers. Cause my burgers, I'm used to having a burger and knowing if it's done or not by cutting it in half, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to salmon, you make a salmon burger and you cut it in half, it's gonna be pink on the inside. So, you know, oh, is it done? You know what I'm saying? I couldn't really enjoy my first salmon burger. But now that I've been eating salmon throughout a whole bodybuilding contest prep, I've been eating salmon for like the whole last two years, basically, or a year and a half, uh, I know um, how it's supposed to be. So, basically, just grab all your salmon pieces off. Uh, try to get everything because we're going to use the same foil because we, we don't got money to waste on foil. We don't got no money to waste. This is body, this is natural bodybuilding. Uh, we're not sponsored by anybody, so we're gonna do our best to save and preserve um, Save and preserve on our dividends That's that that's a uh, street talk for money Don't go up to a, a random person and say dividends. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so bam our sweet potatoes are done So I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do with that real quick I'm gonna take our sweet potatoes out and we're gonna transition them See, hope don't fall, don't fall. We're gonna move some stuff around. We got a small little freezer. We're, we're, pray, we're praising God for increase right now. Cause in order to get stuff done, we need a bigger location. You know what I'm saying? Ministry and everything. So you wanna sit them in the freezer. We're not gonna keep them in there all day. We're gonna keep them in there for about 15 minutes, let them cool down so you can start cutting them. So man. But yeah, we're praising God for, for increasing, not only financial increase, but we're not going to see, see, that's why a lot of people, they, they, they have the perverted mindset of financial increase. You want to have a financial increase so that you may do the things of God. 
we need a bigger freezer so that I could have, we could pack more food so we could save more money. You know what I'm saying? So we could do more things when it comes to this bodybuilding world. Because, you know, you grow in, in, with your food. So, uh, we're praising God for increase, of course. And that comes with uh, giving to, giving to uh, you know, not I'm not going to just say your church, but giving to a church that's on a mission with God. And that just so happens to be my local church. So, now, I got my chicken on deck and so what i'm gonna do is lay them down they are already seasoned i'm just gonna give them enough space and one thing i tell people i like to tell people when it comes to giving to a church because you know we're so used to seeing these televangelists we're used to seeing these televangelists we're used to seeing these ministers um preach um you know uh god wants you to sow this seed or blah, blah blah one thing i tell them if you can't look inside the church and see what they're doing with the finances in your local community and um uh, in global in the uh, the global church and of course if you're not saved god wants your soul before he wants your money and if of course if the church isn't using the money isn't uh shepherding the money properly then you know so you shouldn't be giving to that ministry now we have chicken thighs going in. Chicken thighs are different than chicken breasts. You don't have to put, you don't have to cook them for, uh, you know, chicken breasts, you cook them for too long, they end up, oops, fall on my screen, hold on. Cook chicken breasts for too long, <laughs> they end up, um, oops, uh, they end up getting dry. So we're gonna cook these for about a good 17 minutes as well. 17, 18, put them for 18. Time on, oops, time on 18. Got my pasta cooking. I'm about to come mess with that in a second. My beans cooking. Okay. Everything's looking good. Got my sweet potatoes in the freezer. Got my salmon done. Let this sit down. What I'm going to actually do, I have two more sweet potatoes that need to go in. Cook those sweet potatoes. Then I'm going to let the salmon sit. Once the chicken finished cooking, I'm going to let the chicken sit as well in the microwave. So when I come back home from my training session, I can be able to finish my meal prep, just pack everything up. You see, we're getting this stuff in. No time to waste. We got to put in work. You see, it's time. I'm going to go ahead and just stir it. You see it boiling? See it boiling like that? Just go ahead and stir it up. You don't need a fork. Just stir it. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, it's no time to waste. It's time to grind. Uh, this is one of the most important parts of bodybuilding. And, the, and the, of course, if you want a physical change, is your meal prep. Don't waste your time you know i for instance for example i just got home right just got home a little while ago i took a quiz that i, that I needed to take for one of my classes took that quiz back door when i finished the quiz started meal prepping what i'm about to do in my downtime i have homework i'm gonna do i'm gonna start doing my homework so my high school and college kids don't waste your time you know if you have a little job you're staying with your mom use that job to support your goals, your dreams. Use that job. That's one thing that a lot of people say. The, the job you work, uh, the nine to five you work, that should be used to support your uh, your uh, your financial. I mean, your career goals, your financial dreams, or whatever. So this is why I tell people, man. Shoot, make sure you're getting. I'm in school right now, I'm taking six courses. I'm not gonna skip out on milk. I'm not gonna skip out on sleep. I'm not gonna skip out on worship. You know, the worship of God. So you know, I'm make sure you're out there grinding. Okay, so I got these sweet potatoes in the oven. Got these sweet potatoes right here, done. These ones I just put out the freezer. So what I'm gonna do, cut them right down the middle. They're supposed to be soft, it's supposed to be soft. That whole cut is supposed to be soft. Let's see if this one's kinda. Yeah, there you go. Just had to puncture it, soft. Don't see some steam come up off them suckers. What I want you to do now is peel them. Basically, get all the skin off of them. Pull as much as you can, then take your knife, and of course you want to try to get as least, like that's good, get as much, as least of it as you can on the, on, uh, that, on the part that you're throwing away. But I want you to peel the whole potatoes. I'm gonna do that real quick, talk to you guys. Real fast, I'm gonna peel as much as I can. Uh, it's, mind you, it's still hot, so it's all not gonna peel. So I basically want you to have chunks. See, ooh, I like how when they, I like how when you, you know you cooked it right when it just falls off the skin. Like, look at that. All oh, that just fell off. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit of sweet potato there. And a little bit right there. Get that off. 
I hate when I have to scrape and I have to peel and I have to, you know, then I, then I mess around and have parts of it that I, uh, that still, uh, I still have parts of it on my meals. You know what I'm saying? When I'm eating, I'm trying to go in, I'm smashing on my sweet potato. You know, the next thing you know, I got to stop because I got, I got a piece of uh, skin in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is. A lot of people say you should thoroughly see it's still hot. Probably want to wait a few more minutes while you peel. I'm just peel this half. You peel this uh, one sweet potato, and the rest of it, I'm gonna let sit until at least the other one is done. Uh, but I left it in the freezer for about five minutes. Nothing serious. Yeah, it was about about eight minutes. I left it in there for about eight minutes. Nothing serious. Just let it cool off, really. So, I'll show you guys this one sweet potato. Got most of the skin. Got most of the sweet potato off the skin as much as I can. Two potatoes, are, in my opinion, are the best form of complex carbohydrate. Got, that's one sweet potato right here. So what I usually like to do is chop it up in the chunks. So when I weigh it out, I'm going to weigh out one, one of each meal for you guys when it's time to, to prep everything up. I'm just showing you guys the cooking portion. So, six minutes, ten minutes, boiling, boiling. About to edit the video for you guys while I do some homework and I'll be right back. Alright guys, check this pasta. Yep, it's done. I can tell how soft it is. One thing people say, because this is whole grain pasta, one thing people say you can do is throw it at the wall, see if it sticks. But that is not sanitary. But of course, you just pick up one and eat it make sure it's soft. I can see that it's soft, so it's done. I'm going to drain that. My chicken thighs just went off. So, what I'm going to do is do the same thing I did with the... There we go. Damn. Make it the same thing I did with the uh whatchamacallits with the uh salmon. But give me a plate. Nothing extra. Give me a plate. Let me find my thing. Oh, I cleaned it. Good. Give me a plate. Pick up all my thighs. They cook perfectly too, man. They, they they don't have a lot of seasonings on it. They don't have all the extra fixings. So they're uh, they're gonna look this color. But they're thoroughly cooked. You know what I'm saying? They're fully cooked. Let me see if I can this one up and see. They're thoroughly cooked. It's a chicken thigh. It's dark meat. So keep that in mind. This is in the breast. They have the same amount of protein. They just have two, maybe 2.5 more grams of fat than the uh, chicken breast has. But I, I, if you're bite build on a budget, I recommend you mess with chicken thighs. Uh, or if you want, uh, or if you like flavor over, you know what I'm saying? Over uh, macros. <laughs> so, got the salmon sitting in there. Got this sitting in here. Got my, oh, let me get this. Got this, oh yeah, it's cool. This is pretty cool. So I'm gonna peel this. I have my other sweet potato sitting in the freezer. So I'm gonna finish peeling this. I'm going to drain this pasta. I'm going to go ahead and drain this pasta right here since, you, since I got it right here and it's ready. The pasta, I'm going to have pasta this week. I'm going to cook the ground turkey when I get home. So all I'm doing, let me do this real quick. So I'm glad I got a wife but she's taking a nap right now. So I ain't going to even disturb her. So all I'm doing, I got it facing like this. It's facing like this so none won't escape. They can't escape my wrath, the wrath of my stomach. So, bam, perfect. None of them fail. Yeah, none of them fail. So, just drain that little water. Have a little water in there. Only one fail. And it fell right there. So, I'm going to have a little bit of water in there to let it sit. So, I got it in the refrigerator. All I'm going to simply do is just throw this in the refrigerator. So, when I come back post-workout, I can indulge in that. Oh, hold on. I had a meal. I probably see it in the car. But, okay, so, I'm about to peel this sweet potato. I'm going to take the sweet potato out of the oven in about three or four more minutes. I'm editing the video right now for you guys. Doing homework. So, meal prep is almost over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back tonight with everything. The beans, I'm going to come back and check. Actually, I'm going to check the beans for you guys, with you guys. And then, after I uh, let the beans sit, 
I'm going to drain them a little bit, put them in the, uh, in the refrigerator, and then I'll come back tonight with you guys for the last part of the meal. Okay, guys, I just got done chopping up my sweet potato. I moved the salmon and the, uh, and the what you call it, into the refrigerator. So I want to, uh, I basically don't want to, uh, to have them sit out. They're only going to sit in the refrigerator for a few hours. I'm going to clean up this microwave. Clean up this kitchen tile. Like I said, clean as I go. I'll be back when the beans are done cooking. I just checked them. You could check your beans, spin them around. See, they're almost done. They're way softer than they just were. They're still hard. You could tell by the hardness. The resistance they put against the spoon. You could tell by the hardness if they're still hard. So I'm going to give them maybe about another good 20 minutes. Because by that time it's going to be ready for me to head to the gym. So I'll be back when I finish with these. Tonight I'm going to cook my brown rice, my ground, uh, my 93.7 ground uh, turkey. And I'm going to show you guys how to prep up these meals. All right, guys, so I'm mixing it. They're soft. They're ready. They're good. So, what I'm going to do now is simply put them in my refrigerator. My refrigerator kind of funny. Put them in my refrigerator. Sit them down here. Let them cool down. So, everything's sitting down here. Oh, give me a water bottle. Everything's sitting down here chilling. Everything's done cooking. I'm going to clean my stove off. Wash these dishes. Once I finish with this, as you see, I'm changed. It's time to go put in some work. I'm gonna see y'all at the gym. Get your water to a boiling point. Let it boil. Pour your rice. Let it boil up. Once you see the water going down to where you can start seeing the top of the rice, then you put it on low. Put this on low. Cover it. And then come back and check it when the rice, when the water is almost gone, and then your rice will come out perfectly. That's how you cook brown rice perfectly. Okay, guys, most of the food is done. I have my chicken thighs, my salmon, sweet potatoes, black beans, brown rice, pastas in there. Uh, about to cook up the 93.7 extra lean ground, not extra lean, but lean ground beef. I mean ground turkey. I'm about to cook that up on the stove. Show you guys real quick. All you want to do, I'm about to explain it. Cut these open, put a little seasoning on, on it. You know, flip it, put a little seasoning on it. Put it on your pan. You're going to, of course, let your pan get hot. For You want to let your pan get hot. You want to let your pan, uh, you want to uh, let your pan get hot. You want to uh, put some kind of spray on it so it won't stick. Put your meat on. Let it cook for a few minutes. It's going to be on about medium. About medium, yeah. Let it cook for a few minutes. Then start dicing it up. Let it flip. Make sure each side gets cooked. And I like to cover it on low for about two to three minutes. So that all the insides really cook. Because you don't want the outsides just then you want the insides done too. Then after that, bam, I'm done. Make sure you get your Tupperware. I highly recommend you get glass Tupperware. It lasts longer. It's more expensive, but it lasts longer. About $2 a pop. Two to three dollars a pop. Those are like six for a dollar. And they... You run through them real quick. So once I finish with this, I'm about to show you guys how to make a meal. Once I finish, start get, at least getting this ready to start cooking. Okay, guys. So this is how you're gonna prep up your meals. You're gonna put this on the scale. You're gonna turn the scale on. It's gonna revert to zero. First, you're gonna put on your condiments. I'm sorry, your um, rices. So we're gonna do half a cup of rice. So a half a cup is. I'm sorry, a fourth of a cup of rice. A fourth of a cup is two ounces. So I'm going to do, bam. That's it. Got a little bit over two. Then I'm going to start putting my meats on. What meat should I do with this? I'm going to do my chicken. So reset it. Go to ounces. Throw your meats on. Let me get about maybe four ounces. You want to get anywhere between four and eight ounces on your meats. So I got six, I got six ounces basically. So next I go back, to, I clear it and go back to ounces and I'm going to get my black beans. Notice I'm using a fourth of a cup. Bam. It's a little bit more. So I can take some off. Take some off. Yeah, close to it. It's close enough. So bam, that's a meal prep. 
what I do is write down everything that I put in there. Because it might vary depending on how much meat I got. Bam, and there goes the meal that's prepped. I usually write a sticky note and I write M for Monday, since that's the first one I prepped up. Bam, get it going. You know what I'm saying? So, as I'm bulking, I don't need to do all this weighing stuff, so I just want to show you guys that example. So you can do the same thing with your fish. For example, fish, rice, sweet potato. Fish, bean, sweet potato. Fish, vegetable, sweet potato, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So this is how you meal prep, man. You want to get, I say do it from, from Monday to Wednesday and then cook again, or do it from Monday to Thursday and then cook again for the weekend, man. But that's it, man. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe. Grace and peace.